you never know what kind of monsters are out there lurking in the moonlight and the daylight. That's why we here at Frighteningly Friendly Studios make friends with all freaks, geeks, and creeps and creatures of the night. In fact, we're so nice, it's scary. <laughs> Now I know not everyone has the time for stories. We're all so busy. But I must implore you. This is a story I don't think you're gonna wanna miss. Missing signs all over town for her, just like they did the previous young missing women. And after a strange, weird, and awkward day, the next morning was very much of the same. Paper mister? You don't recognize me without my makeup. He was hideous. It's early. Your boss won't be here for a while. You've got some time. Come, follow me. There's something I want to talk to you about. I was scared. But if there was a possibility that these young women were still alive, I was going to do anything I could to save them. I walked in his shop. It was clean, magnificent, and huge. Were all these lollipops young women? I've been watching you. You've got a lot of potential. Yeah? Mmm. You're good with people. You work hard, you're creative, and you understand money. Someone with your talent has a very bright future. What you're looking for is the right opportunity. Much like I did when I was a younger man. This way. He tried to make a connection with me. But I was no fool. Everything you see here is mine. I've built my own little empire. Business is always good for me. Not only do I own my shop, but I own this entire building. People come from everywhere to buy from me. I do business with very important People. He was a magician. He changed his hideous looks to beautiful within seconds. I wasn't much older than you when I got my start. I grew this business from scratch. Did it all myself. With my machine. Oh, what a magnificent creature she is. And I created her with my very own hands. And you, my boy, are wasting your talent selling newspapers. You've got to think bigger. You need to shoot for the stars. You need to work for me. He wanted me to work with him, so I lied to get more information. What do I have to do? Everything. Oh, I'll teach you the whole business. And someday, I might even let you work my machine. How does it work? Well...
girls go in and candy comes out. It's magical. I don't think I could do that. Oh, it's easier than you might imagine. Just think of candy making as providing an important service. Much like selling newspapers. If there wasn't such a need, there wouldn't be so much business now, would there? Uh, maybe I need some time to think about it. Well, when you decide, I'll be here. I'll always be here. Of course I don't want your answer today. It's a big decision. A big financial decision. How much could I make? More than selling papers? More than you could ever imagine. Oh, there's a fortune to be made in candy. Until you decide. Here is a little something just for you. No, I really shouldn't. That's all right. For your mother. How did he know? What? You didn't think I knew about that. He knew everything. I know you need it. You'll put it to good use. I know many things. And I'll teach them to you. You love working in candy. It changes everything. I was disturbed at the thought. Was I actually considering working for this man? <coughs> Is she gonna be okay? I think we caught it in time. I'm gonna need to keep treating her for two more weeks. Thank you, Doctor. I forgot. He wasn't a man. He was an evil creature called the Dreamer. He had used my mother against me. He gave me money to take care of her. How he knew bothered me. I didn't understand. No one told paper, him. Paper! Get your paper! I was not myself that day. So many thoughts running through my head. I knew that he was an evil creature. Hey, how many papers you sold today? Only 25. Yeah, well, you better get with it. If you want to earn that nickel bonus, huh? Mr. Petroni could tell I was not myself. And I was tired and sick of it. So I wanted to speak with Mr. Petroni about this evil. Mr. Petroni? What? Then something happened. Again, the actions of the previous day manifested itself right before me. The same trick as he used on the girl. Be your lucky day. But it was Nancy. And Mr. Petroni did nothing. He pandered to her just like he did the other girl. Mr. Petroni, do something. I begged him. Yeah. He was a coward. It's, uh, it's none of our business. What do you mean it's none of our business? It's all of our business. This abomination was creating evil from young, beautiful women. At that moment, I reached deep down, conquered all of my fears. All of my thoughts were to come and destroy this shop. Do anything I could to stop this man, this devil, this monster. The door was locked. I had no way in. Nancy was in there. Nancy! My friend, the girl I adored. I screamed for help. I asked everybody. They walked by. And that's when I decided at that very moment, it was up to me to stop this. It was me versus a monster. And I'm coming to save you, Nancy. <laughs>